An amended plan to reform Iowa's area education agencies is heading to the state Senate after it passed the state house last night. The plan is meant to improve special education in schools and raise teacher salaries for both new and experienced teachers. It will give AEAs 100% of special education funds in the first year. After that, districts will have to spend 90% of those funds with AEAs, but they can use the other 10% however they choose. Republicans say this is a good step forward to help students with disabilities across Iowa. It is incredibly painful for me to see that was what was built and strengthened over half a century could be torn apart in a matter of months for no good reason. I'm devastated today and I know that there are so many Iowans that feel the same way. The bill would create a task force to study the issue. Democrats say they're okay with the task force, but they think they should wait until after the task force does its work to make any changes. How, if at all, does this improve special education? I would argue that giving schools more control of their money, where they know what's best to fit their students' needs, is a win. Implementing the Special Education Task Force recommendations of the task force that met, I think it was a couple years ago, both public and private schools coming together, implementing those recommendations is a win. The bill also includes a 2.5% increase in school funding next school year. This version of the legislation still needs to pass the Senate before it can go to Governor Kim Reynolds. The governor released a statement on the bill saying it will pave a path forward to strengthen Iowa's education system. She also says this will help districts commit to better outcomes and brighter futures for students with disabilities. The governor also said it's important to attract and retain teachers in the state, especially those who dedicate their careers to serve students.